Uh, no, originally we thought, okay, it's going to be a goal. Um, when Darbs and I were looking at it, Darbs was getting them to Jonas and TJ to run it back for us. And then as soon as uh, as soon as Darbs seen uh, him push, and I think Freddie said it right at the same time, that he pushed his pad in. As soon as we heard that and saw that, then we were pretty comfortable that it was not going to be a goal. Good call by, by John McIsaac, uh, the ref too. I mean, he called it immediately tough. Tough building, yeah. right? Tough building to to make that call, obviously, uh, but it was the right one. Another Friday, obviously, with the, the key breakaway after the penalty shot being kind of a indication for him to kind of get that next chance and capitalize. Yeah, I agree. I, I mean, you guys probably have talked to him enough now to know his attitude's uh, pretty positive, right? Um, so he, he's not going to let <clears throat> something like that bother him. He's just going to go out and keep playing and. Um, his, uh, yeah, his attitude's um, real good. Allows, allows him to, to rebound and um, I've seen it firsthand when he hasn't had success at the American League level and um, just kept working and that's what he's going to continue to do to make himself a great NHL player. How special a night do you think this was for Zuccarello to be uh, you know, part of the ceremony and work with <clears> the fans <throat> constantly and then to yeah. have a big game? Well, I think it's great for us that Zuki's playing like he's playing. Like he's just, um, and, I, and I don't mean just scoring goals. I, I just saw the stat that he's scored multiple goals. That, that, what he's doing with his work ethic, the stuff that you guys don't see, his leadership qualities, being vocal um, in the right areas. He just doesn't chirp for the sake of chirping. When he talks, it's like, okay, the guys are like, okay, you know what? We need to have a third man high or, we can't, you know, lose a guy or, or whatever. It, 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 he says the right things, and then um, to back it up with his work ethic, um, how many times do you see him tracking back and putting pressure on people from behind? It's one thing to work the other way. It's another to have the commitment to work back to our zone, and he's done that um, all year, and he's been obviously a, a leader on our hockey club in all areas. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know prior to here. I know when, when he first got here, um, you know, maybe we didn't use him properly, um, you know. And I think, you know, certainly playing with Kirill, they, they, they had a chemistry, so it was, you know, kind of um, kind of right away we were playing him more. But um, we were also not just playing because of chemistry, but because of what he's doing. And um, he forced us to play him more um, put him in all situations. We talked uh, tonight that like we would like him, uh, you know, obviously we have X line on the ice if we can at the end of hockey games, but feel very comfortable with putting him anywhere at the end of hockey because he, he's going to block shots. He's going to um, do smart, simple things. He's going to, he's got such a great stick to get pucks out. So yeah, um, I think he's just, he's thriving under uh, playing more, but he's dictated to us that he should play that much. Yeah, I don't put much in because they sat on their bench too, right? So it's equal. Um, so we just were not, uh, actually Billy come down and he says it's the worst period we, he's seen. Like we had nothing, like nothing. Um, we had no legs. We were making silly plays. They clearly were real good as well. So we got to give them credit uh, as well. But uh, uh, but again, we <laughs> we stayed with it and we got to praise the, the group in there, the leadership group there. They're the ones that turn things around and people put a lot of stock into, well, you know, the coach went in there, coaches went in there and started barking at them and it, we did it. We just, they realized that they weren't playing well and they caught it. And you know we, we had a, as good a second period as we've seen all year. How critical was that play by Kalina? I mean, when he was the first shift of the second. Period. When he dove there, yeah, yeah. yeah. The break, I mean, it yeah. Looks like it's going to be three nothing if he doesn't make that play. Yeah, and I just praise Zuki for doing that, right? But if if your leaders do that, 
if Zuccarello does that, and and Eric Sinek, and 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 uh, I mean everybody, um, you know, Spurgey, you're all doing it. You're all work. Then everybody just kind of falls in line, and you have to, you, you feel left out if you if you don't put that work ethic in. So, um, but yeah, that's uh, it was absolutely a key point in the, in the game.